welcome back to Fujits Blitz and today we're going to be DPMing like an Egyptian. We're going to be looking at the M4 FL10, the tier 7 medium tank, hybrid nation, that's a premium. Currently in the stores for a limited time only, two days I believe, going for around $20, 18 euros or 16 pounds, depending on where you are in the world and how you want to look at it. So, is this tank value for money? Is it any good? Should you be looking at getting it? Well, that's what the tank looks like. It's uh, pretty cool, pretty funky, and it looks pretty weird. However, this is not a fantasy tank. This is not a tank made up by Wargaming. It's a real tank. And whilst it belongs in the hybrid nation in the game, it's actually Egyptian in real life. There is a picture of one right there. Now, it was developed to try and counter the M50 Super Sherman, a tank that was developed by the Israelis based on a Sherman chassis. And this is basically the same thing. It's a diesel M4E A2, sorry, with an AMX 13 turret slapped on the top. But let's have a look at the, what it is in the game. It's an auto auto loader. We'll get to that more. So its damage output is about 160 each shell and there's three shells in a magazine. Rate of fire, you're gonna get 13 and a half rounds a minute. Penetration is not too bad, just below average, 144. Armor, well, there isn't any and we'll deal with that in a moment as well. Speed, it's pretty nippy. Get 52 out of it, maximum speed and rotation, whatever that means, is quite good. Now, looking at the nuts and bolts of the detailed stats, you get 1,250 hit points, you get zero armor realistically, you get quite a nice view range, just over 300 meters, camo just below average while stationary and moving. Uh, the DPM is 2,165, your shell reload time between shells in the clip is 1.3 seconds. Your auto load time actually is very confusing. To load one shell, it will take shy of four seconds. To load two shells, it takes three and a half seconds, and to load the third shell takes 3.1 seconds. So in total you're looking at about 10 and a half seconds for the full magazine to load. There are three in the magazine, its penetration is 144 on your AP, 202 on your APCR, HE, well it's HE. Damage wise, you're knocking out 160 per shell AP, 135 APCR, and 175 on your HE. Aim time, not too bad, 3.5 seconds. Depression, well, you haven't really got any, 6 degrees. It's enough, but it's not enough, if you know what I mean. And speed is pretty nippy. You'll get an average speed of 31 out of it with a top speed of 52. Looking at the armor profile, <laughs> what armor profile? It doesn't have any. It's pretty thin, 70 odd millimeters at the front and on the sides. Here it is facing off against a Tiger One. As you can see, it is possible to side scrape in it if you're that way inclined. But don't forget, it's a Sherman chassis, guys. It's not that great. The thing that makes this tank is its gun. Now, the gun is really confusing. It's similar to the Progetto, which hasn't come into the game yet. It's an auto auto loader. That means you can either A, expend the entire clip and wait for the clip to reload, or you can fire a burst of two or a burst of one. Confusing, yes. Now, if you've got, like I've got here, one, it will load shells individually. So if I, if I have three shells in the magazine and I fire one, that shell, I can wait for it to reload, so I can have three in the magazine. If I expend all three, then I can just load one shell and fire that. Now, loading one shell takes four seconds, loading the second shell takes three and a half seconds, and loading the third shell, i.e. the full magazine, then takes three seconds, effectively. In between shells are when you fire, it's only 1.3 seconds. So you are churning out 160 damage in real terms, at a rate of four, five, six, seven seconds, which is obscene. I mean, we're looking at you know, Black Prince territory. It's not quite Kenny Hotsu, I'm afraid, but it really is BP territory. Uh, I mean, it is a funky gun. And as you can see here, unlike most auto loaders where you have to load the entire magazine, this one, you don't. And that makes it unique, because if you're firing 
if you've got a full magazine to begin with and you expend it, well that takes three seconds. It then takes four seconds to load that one shell. And it's dicking out, you know, 160 per shell. So, real terms, you are looking at knocking out 160 times four every seven seconds. Real terms. So, and that's if you want to play it that way. <clears throat> you, mean you can either load the magazine fully, or you can load it to two shells, or you can load it to one shell. It's completely up to you. Either way, it's pretty interesting. So here I have got three shells in the magazine. Here comes a black prince. Oh my giddy aunt, I can't pen him for toffee. Change it to APCR. Watch. One shell. Second shell. Four seconds later. One shell. Can wait another four seconds. And another shell. And this is what I'm talking about. I don't need to wait for the full magazine to load. I can just go single shot every four seconds. That is obscene. However, a lot of people think, oh, wow, well, that makes it OP. It's nowhere near OP. It's got a decent gun. It's got decent dispersion. You can snipe in this thing. You can sit at distance. And believe me, you will need to sit at distance. I mean, the armor on this thing is non-existent, to be honest with you. What makes it is the gun. The armor is pants. The mobility is not too bad, but it's this gun that makes this tank stand out. And, you know, if you know where to stick this thing and you get inexperienced players like this, you can have all the fun in the world. Now, I tried to get an ace in this thing yesterday, but it was just not happening, unfortunately. Mainly because it's just come out and all the main proper CCs have gone out there to do their reviews and they got the ace already. And I'm looking at you, the likes of Meadsy69 and Martin Dogger, you damn buggers, you set the bar pretty high. But I got first classes and I, you know, I was averaging about 2,100 damage per game. Which for a tier 7 tank, and a medium tank at that, isn't that bad. And this is the trick behind this tank. It's just the gun. Nothing else. I mean, the gun and the mobility, realistically. However, is it worth splashing the cash? It's unique. Um, this is the first of its kind in Blitz. Okay, the Progetto's out there, but that's being tested by a select few. This is open to everybody if you want to drop that money. It is a unique auto auto loader gun. And it's, you know, is it a gun, is it a tank that you need in your garage? Well, probably not. But it is different. And if you're a tank collector and you like those sort of things, then, you know, it may seem a bit steep 15 quid for a tier 7 tank compared to some of the tanks that's come out recently it's not that bad i mean the fun factor in this thing is just hilarious it's not a pay to win tank it's not op by any stretch of the imagination you know the gun is fantastic yes it is but it's a really tricky tank to play mainly because it's got no armor and that means that every person on the battlefield including their dog it can blow in your general direction and you will get penetrated. If it had better armor, then yeah, it would be OP. But it's not. It has got a good gun. And it has got reasonable mobility. 15 quid, $20 for a tier 7? It seems a bit steep. And unless you've got the, the, the red is available. And it is cash, guys. This isn't gold. This isn't anything like that. If you've got the cash and you don't mind dropping that amount, then fine, that's up to you. If you're not, it's not a must-have tank. So if you're considering this tank and you want this tank, but you can't afford it just yet, just wait, because it'll come back. It'll be in the stores again. And, you know, it's not as expensive as the Scorpion G, which recently came out, which was mightily expensive. But $20, 18 euros, 16 quid, 
it's still pretty steep for a tier 7. Had this had been going for about £10, 12 euros, 15 dollars, different kettle of fish. But don't get me wrong, I mean it's it's a lovely tank. It really is a nice tank and I had great fun in it. Is it a tank I'll play often? Probably because of that gun. I mean that gun is just intoxicating. It's it really is mesmerizing because there are so many things you can do with it. You can do, as I said, you can do three shots, just empty the magazine completely, you can do two shots, or you can just do single fire. I mean, it is an amazing gun. Now, you may be wondering why I'm not firing HE at the Stura Emil. Well, there's a reason for that. Top end alpha on the HE is 175, top end alpha on the AP is 160. I know the AP is going to pen. I don't know if the HE is going to. So, what's the point of loading HE? There is no point for me, realistically. So I decided not to bother. I had fun in this tank. I loved it, to be honest with you. I thought it was funky dunky. I thought it was a novelty. Um, and I enjoyed it. Okay, I got called a, war a wallet warrior. I had a gold noob and all these sort of horrible names. But this is not a pay to win. This is not a game changer as such. It looks like it has insane DPM. Well, it does to an extent have insane DPM. I mean, look at that, I mean, just plowing in there. And because of that auto auto loader, that four second reload, I mean, okay, that's pretty insane. You, you, but you're only doing 160 every four seconds. If you load your full magazine, then it's a different kettle of fish. You're doing 500 near is damn it every every ten and a half seconds and that's what sets this tank apart from the other auto loaders it gives you more options which is nice and it really is nice yes it's got good dpm but it's not op as i've said i mean a lot of people will argue that it is op but it's actually rather balanced because of the lack of armor had it had more armor, then as I say, yeah, it would be OP. So this is not a pay-to-win tank. It is a novelty. Thing is, is it worth £15? Is it worth €18? Euros? Is it worth $20? Well, I can't tell you what to spend your money on. It's a nice tank. It's not overly expensive compared to what we've had recently where tanks have been going for 50 and some of them have been going for $100 uh, near as damn it. So I'm not here to tell you it's too much, it's overpriced. I think the price is a tad on the high side, but it's not that unreasonable. When all is said and done, it could be worse. I mean, they could have put this out there at a stupid amount of money, but they didn't, in my opinion. It's around the average ballpark figure but as I said you know don't fall over yourselves to get this and then, you know just drop the money if you can't or if you're in two minds it will come around again and when it does it will come around cheaper of course it will they always do and it may not come around as something that you need to purchase for, for real cash it may be gold or it may be an event tank who knows? I mean, there's a tech tree line coming out. It's not coming out in the next update. It's coming out in the update after that, I believe. So, this is a tank that... It's not an urgent buy, but it's a nice tank to have. I mean, I, like I said, I really, really enjoyed it. And as you can see here, I, I'm giving this IS-5 one heck of a time. And it's, I, I've got to use APCR because I can't pen it with AP on the front. And once he gets around the side and the back, then easier but look at the damage i can dish out in this thing the is5 though i mean he could have pumped me he could have rammed me he could have done anything you know it's like the t20 i'm on one shot i don't know why the t20 is not doing for me but you know my t20 did me a favor and you know, i got lucky there you know two tanks should have killed me realistically and they didn't and because of that, I was able to survive the battle and do over 2,000 damage at the same time. It's a nice tank, guys. 
It's a unique gun. It's an interesting gun. And it's a gun that gives you options which we don't normally have in the game. You either get derp or a gun. This one, you get a choice. And it's a welcome choice. It's refreshing. It's a different kind of autoloader. And the progettos like this, if by all accounts, that's going to be an interesting tank to have in tier 10. I mean, I know I've seen them, and, and you know, I've seen people play them, and they look an impressive tank as well. But now I've had to play this tank with the similar type of auto, auto loading gun. It's really, it's going to be an interesting times coming up. Anyway, get a first class there, did 2420 damage, took two kills, survived the battle. Woo! It's a nice tank, and it's an interesting tank. I'm not going to tell you go out and rush out and buy it. That's up to you guys. It's whether you can afford it, etc., etc. It's not for me to tell you that. I'm here to tell you is the tank worth the money. <laughs> Tough call. Anyway, that has been the M4 FL10. A truly unique tank. Possibly the price is a tad high, but it's borderline reasonable. It's a fun tank, and it's not OP. Anyway, I've been Fujit. By all means, comment, like, etc. below. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. I'm almost at my golden 1,000 subs, which would be nice to get. If you've got any replays, send them to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. Join my Discord server, or even follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And until the next time, I will say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because you know what? That's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.